Hi, I'm Matthew Shackelford. I'm a student and I work for the Office of Information Technology. As you transition to college life at Princeton, we in OIT want to help you get acquainted with some of the technology on campus. This video will help you learn about some of the tech resources and places to go for computing help. First, we'll start with a quick tour of the technology places on campus. Across campus, you'll find more than 40 computing clusters with computers and printers. You can log into any of these computers using your Princeton NetID and password. At the clusters, you'll have access to lots of software you'll need for your classes, like Office, Mathematica, statistical packages, and media software. If you don't know what these are, trust me, you will. A map with cluster locations and the available software can be found online. For an extensive selection of multimedia equipment, software, and support, head to the new Media Center located in Lewis Library. Here, you can get one-on-one -on -one personal training and help with your video and audio projects for multimedia professionals. The Julian Street Library and Media Center, J Street, is located in Wilcox Hall and is open to all students. J Street has many of the same tools to help you with your multimedia projects, like video editing and design software and several audio workstations. It also has an audio recording and editing room. There are also a few media machines available for use in each residential college. Video and audio equipment is available to borrow on campus. The Humanities Resource Center, in the lower level of East Pine, manages the majority of Princeton's video collection and reserves. At the HRC, you can find a large selection of foreign language instructional materials with a technology that allows you to play video materials from anywhere in the world. The last stop on our tour of computing places is the Princeton University Library, with vast resources, both in print and online. The Search It at PUL tool on the main library website gives students a new hub for our library's collections as well as content from databases and journals. The online library catalog allows students to search through Princeton's collections for materials they need and tells students where to find them on campus. There are many ways that you can get information or help with your technology on campus. Available right in your dorm, Student Technology Consultants, or STCs, can help you with your computing technology. When you come to campus, STCs will be around to help you get your devices quickly connected. Throughout the year, you can call on your STCs by visiting them during office hours or by sending them an email. They'd be happy to help you and will come to your room. Next is the Tech Clinic, located on the 100 level of Frist Campus Center. OIT staff is here Monday through Friday to assist you with anything from a virus on your computer to faulty hardware. If you're having a computer issue, bring it to the Tech Clinic and we'll help you out. For your 24-7 computing and network related problems, you can call the Help Desk and you'll be able to speak with a consultant who can help you with your tech issues. You can chat with a Help Desk consultant from the OIT homepage or send them an email. You can even follow them on Twitter at P-U-O-I-T-S-O-C. Lastly, we want to give you some helpful tips on what to do when you arrive on campus. Internet access is available through the Princeton network, DormNet. To use this network, you need to register your devices. Once registered, you connect to DormNet by plugging into the Ethernet jack in your room or by connecting to the Wi-Fi network, PU Wireless. SCI computer owners, no sweat, you're registered. Remember, as with any privilege, there are good practices and policies that must be followed. Princeton's IT policy is available online. Make sure you're familiar with it so you don't get in trouble. Next is setting up your computer to take advantage of campus printing. At all of the OIT computer clusters and in some of the dorms, you'll find high-quality laser printers that you can use. Install the All Clusters print queue on your computer and you can print your document at the printer of your convenience. Printing for mobile devices is also supported. The last thing on your to-do checklist is to set up your Princeton Google account. Your Princeton Gmail will serve as the hub of your university communications. You'll also get access to other Google apps, such as Google Drive and Google Calendar, using your Princeton NetID and password. Your Google Drive is a great place to store your documents and files, and also for collaborating on documents with others. To get help with these setup tasks or answers to technology questions, feel free to stop by the STC tables in the residential colleges at the beginning of the year. The STCs will help you get everything set up and working. I hope this video introduced you to technology at Princeton. OIT is here to help you and make your Princeton career a tech success. Though I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times, congratulations on being admitted to Princeton and have a fantastic freshman year.